days. So today, whenever I was still fast asleep, something really exciting came, and that was my glam bot package. And like, literally, I've already like opened it just to avoid um, trying to find scissors and stuff. So it is pre-opened. But yeah, so my boyfriend like kind of came up and threw this onto the bed, and like in my sleep, basically, I was like, yes. So yeah, new makeup, which is like my favorite thing in the world right now. And you guys know how much I love glam bot. I'm sure by this point. Uh, so yeah, I got some really fun stuff and I posted a picture of this on Instagram and everyone was like, yes, haul! So I was like, yeah, haul! So it's time for the haul! So I've, um, as I say, I opened it and took everything out so it's ready to go, but it, everything is still in its little bubble wrapping and I can't remember some of what I've ordered and there's like a few things I'm like, what is this? So let's get started and find out. Oh goodness, I did it wrong, didn't I? I'm a bad cat mother. <laughs> I'm a bad cat mother, I can't even... So as always, I'm going to start, sorry if you see cat tail, um, as always I'm going to try to start with the sort of like little freebies that they send you with your order, which I'm assuming is this because I don't recognise this. So let's see what this is. Okay, so the first thing is this, which probably looks confusing on, but it's like little metallic temporary tattoos. So that's cool, I guess you could use that as like sort of a like uh, bracelet or something. But yeah, it's like a little gold one, that's really cool. And there's a little bag with something in it which has me very, very interested. Oh my god, that's so freaking cute! Oh, how do I do it? How do I do it? It's like a little lipstick charm! Oh my god, I love that. I, like, I have a real thing for like charms for like my phone or my keys or anything. So any little like charmy things absolutely delight me no matter what they are. So I'm just like, yes, cute little charm. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with that. <laughs> right, so the first thing then I got was this. And this is a primer from Urban Decay. And I got this because actually, in my very first glam bot haul, I think, I got like a little sample of a primer, it was like a tart one, and it was so, so good. And I've been like using that constantly, it's the only primer I've been using, and it's almost out now because it was so small. So I thought I should get a new primer, and I decided to try one from Urban Decay because I think they do good primers. Isn't that like something they're good at? I don't know, I feel like that's something Urban Decay are really good at. So I went for an Urban Decay one, and it's a nice big bottle, and as always, it has a little glam bot seal, and everything was like, you know, hugely bubble wrapped so everything came really really safe and this is the brightening and tightening complexion primer potion so that's what it looks like why am i not auto focusing so i'm obviously not really gonna be able to swatch this i'm assuming because it's probably you know gonna go clear as primers do but i'll put a little bit on my hand and just tell you what i think of the feel of it okay so it comes out like this just kind of like a milky sort of look it's you know so it looks sort of like a gel, so I'll rub that in now and see what it's like. So going on, it doesn't feel like any other primers I typically use. Like most of these feel quite velvety and stuff. This isn't like that at all. It's just starting to dry now, but I can definitely see a difference even just on my hand. So I'm really interested to try this on my face and see what it's like. So like I said, most primers, they feel not like powdery, but you know, like they feel sort of velvety whenever you rub them in, at least the ones I've used. But this is totally different, but... My hand feels really nice now, so I'm really interested to see how that works on the face. Okay, next up, I'm gonna open this because this has been like tormenting me. I don't have a freaking clue what this is. I can't remember what it is, but it's like in a heavy pot, so I need to know what we've got here. Ooh. Oh, right, okay, so this, I believe, is a MAC pigment. It is indeed. So this is like a little paint pot from MAC, and this is what it's like on the bottom. There we go. Sorry about my nails, as always. So yeah, this is the paint pot in dangerous something I can't pronounce. Uh, let me see how that is. Okay, so this is like completely full and great looking. Let me just have a go. I've never tried any of these sort of things from MAC, so I'm interested to see. So, that's a really strange color, but I really like it. It's like It looks very silver in the pot and then it goes on white sort of silver metallic, but it almost has like a pink under sheen to it. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but yeah, it's like a really nice silver pigment. And I've been looking for something like very, very like sort of sort of creamy and silver just to be like a really high shine. So I imagine that with some sort of like silver powder eyeshadow on top would work perfectly. So that's really nice. Okay, so next up is another pigment from MAC and this is the Luna Frost Cream Color Base. So let me just get this open for you. Ooh! So this is what it looks like. Obviously it's probably quite hard to tell in the pot. I'll just show you the bottom. So I actually got this to try out as a cream highlighter because I've only been using- oh sorry, hello. I've only been using powder ones but I've gotten really really into highlighters recently so I wanted to try something creamy and I thought this might be good and if not it'll still be good for eyeshadow. 
but I like this because you can see there it is a very very white obviously shiny cream pigment and I just thought that'd be good because I'm so pale that it's hard to find a decent thing that will actually highlight my face but um, I've been watching like a lot of Jaclyn Hill recently and such and obviously she is like the queen of highlight and it's made me just want like a really really frosty highlight for my face so I thought that'd be good and I really love how that looks there on the hand you can kind of see when I move it it catches the light so I will be experimenting with this. So I'm not going in any particular order from here, I'm just kind of picking things up and showing them. And uh, Glambot obviously is mostly makeup, but they also do skincare stuff. There we go. So yes, they also do skincare stuff. And something that I have been wanting to try for a really, really long time suddenly popped up on Glambot. And I nearly had a heart attack. And that is the Glam Glow. And it's a face mask, I believe. It's like Hollywood, California, Glam Glow, Power Mud Dual Cleanse Treatment. So yeah, this is like a face mask type thing. It's like, you know, clay or mud or whatever. And I've just seen everyone absolutely raving about this stuff. There's a few different ones. So I've got the dual cleanse one, which I think would be good for me. And everyone just goes nuts about these. So I have been desperate to try it. So when it popped up on Glambot, I was like, yes. But um, let me have a look. Oh goodness. So this is what it looks like on the inside there. Ooh, it smells really nice. Mm, I don't know what that smells of, but it's like absolutely delightful, whatever it is. It's really fresh and fruity. And yeah, I'm so excited to try this. Everyone on YouTube's been going nuts about it, so I finally get to give it a go. Because I haven't really seen it in many shops over here, so I finally have a chance to try it out and see if I like it. Okay, so next up I have a little eyeshadow from MAC. And as you can see there through the plastic, it has a little Glambot protective <coughs> doodad on it. So I'll just take that off. And it's a nice red because I've needed a proper red eyeshadow for a long time. The only one I had was in like this sort of like cheapy palette that was all like broken and stuff. But you know, if you've seen my like what not to say goth girls video or the makeup tutorial I did based on that look, that involves a lot of red, as do a lot of the looks I use. So I finally have like an actual decent red. So let me just swatch. I hate swatching matte eyeshadows. <laughs> if you guys have seen me do it before, you'll know. No. Hit it, hit it, okay. Um, so that is what it's looking like so far on the fingertip there. It's actually not coming off great as a swatch. I don't know if I just need to break through maybe a few of the layers because I've had eyeshadows like that before, but I can't really get this to swatch just yet. And um, this is Max Louder Please Matte Eyeshadow, but it's a really nice color. I'm just having difficulty to actually get it, you know, to go on but as I say that could just be because maybe you need to break through first. So next up I got a NARS eyeshadow and it's in the colour Rage and I've never ever had a NARS stuff before but I've been wanting to try it for a long time so that's exciting. So again we've got our little glam bot seal. And let me just... there we go. So this is like a really really nice purple because I've been quite into purples recently. So I saw this and I just thought that'd be really, really nice to try out. It looks absolutely gorgeous. So let me just swatch that. So here it is on the fingertip. And you can kind of see it's like a sort of warmer purple with like a really cool purple highlight, if that makes sense. That's what it looks like to me anyway. Oh, and this swatches really, really nicely. So that went on no problem at all. Nice and pigmented. Really great color payoff. That is just gorgeous. I can't wait to use that. It has a tiny little mirror, which is adorable. Oh, there you are. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so that's that and it looks amazing. So basically everyone ever has been going on about the OCC Cosmetics, so our obs obsessive compulsive cosmetics lip tars for a really long time and I haven't tried any of them so I thought it was about time I did and of course I went for a very very black one. So I believe this is in the colour Tard. So I don't really know what to expect from this but let's give it a go. So that's where I have it on my hand. And let me just rub it in. Oh wow. Okay, Jesus. Yeah, no, a little bit goes a long, long way. Look at that. That is so, so black. And it's a really, really nice texture as well. It's just like a really lovely lip gloss. I guess it would be like a lip tar. But yeah, that, <laughs> Jesus, I need to go a wet wipe to get this off after. But yeah, a tiny bit goes a really long way. And that is so, so black. So I'm excited to try this like, you know, on my lips. Okay, so up next I got another thing from NARS, and this is their Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in the colour Cruella, which looks lovely. Okay, so that still has half the little glam bot seal on there, but as you can see it's a NARS one. And this is what it looks like, so let me just... Ooh, that's pretty. 
So yeah, that's like a really, really gorgeous red that just glides on so, so nicely. It is like really nice and velvety. That's gorgeous. I cannot wait to try this. Next up, I actually managed to find a NYX butter gloss on there, which I wasn't expecting. NYX is like very affordable anyway, but you know, it was on there and I was already doing a, you know, a haul. So I decided to just grab this anyway, because I've been wanting another one of these. I love the NYX butter glosses so much. I have a couple. I can't remember which old ones I have though. I know I have like Eclair and I cannot remember the names of the other ones, but I wanted like a really bright pink, which is what this is. So let me just... That is so pretty. That's like such a Barbie pink. Love it. So yeah, NYX butter glosses are like one of my favorite lip things ever at the minute. So I cannot wait to actually use that. That is such a pretty Barbie pink color, which I love. Second last product is a MAC lipstick. And this is in the Carnal Instinct. And it also says Frost on there. So if we can just get that to focus. There, hopefully you can see that. <laughs> so straight off the bat it's like this really dark dark burgundy red which I know there we go <laughs> you can kind of see a bit better and I can kind of see like not quite glitter but there's definitely like a shimmer in there which looks really interesting so let me just go ahead and swatch this that is like a really frosty dark burgundy sort of red which I love See, what I do whenever I'm shopping on Glambot is basically I'll look at all the products that I want and I'll go on the likes of YouTube or just on the Google Images or blogs and I'll just search for swatches of it so I can like get an idea of what it actually looks like on. So whenever I saw this was like a really pretty sort of like shimmery dark red, I was like, uh, yes. So yeah, I went ahead and got that and it just looks really pretty. I want to wear all the lip products at once. And the very, very last product is another lip product and it's one of many that I've been wanting to try for a really, really long time. And that is one of the Kat Von D Studded Kiss lipsticks. I've been wanting to try Kat Von D's makeup for freaking ages, but it's really hard to get hold of in the UK. The only way it's really sold in the UK is if people buy it from America and then sort of sell it on over here for a ridiculous price. And I looked on Amazon and it would have cost me like 50 or 60 quid to get this, which is like a kick in the arse off $100 basically for a lipstick. And like see her like brushes and her contour palettes and all that, they're like pretty much like $200. I worked it out for like four things. It would have cost me about $500 for like four pieces of makeup over here. So whenever I saw this on Glambot, I just didn't even hesitate. I was like, mine, I'm getting it. So this is in the shade Coven, which is like a really pretty lilac. Oh, I'm sorry, my nose had been itching for like 20 minutes there. So let me just, I love the packaging, it's so cute. And also it has her little sort of logo doodad on the top. And this is the lipstick. So you can see it's a really pretty pale purple. And that just looks so, so nice. I'll just have to swatch this here. There we go. So yeah, I've been wanting to try this for ages. I've watched a lot of reviews and people seem to think they're a bit hit and miss, like some work really well and others aren't great. This goes on the hand quite nicely, so let's actually try it on the lips. There we go. So also I can't speak for the other lipsticks because I haven't tried them yet, but that just goes on really, really nicely. As you say, some people say that some are a bit patchy, this goes on no problem at all, as you can see that was just kind of like one going over, no lip liner or anything. It's nice no pick, and it smells amazing. It smells like icing or something, Now it's kind of like having something that smells so tasty near your mouth is dangerous. I'm like, can I just take a bite? Probably not, but yeah. So first ever piece of Kat Von D makeup. I am very impressed and also very sad that it's so hard to get in this bloody country. But yeah, look how pretty. So that is everything I got in my Glambot haul. This is a great one. As always, I just, I really love Glambot. So in case you don't know what Glambot is or you haven't seen my previous videos or anything, uh, basically it's like a website where people can sell on their like gently pre-owned sort of makeup, not makeup that's been heavily used. It's more, I think, people who like, you know, have bought something and realize it's not really their color or people who collect a lot of makeup that they never use and stuff. Basically you can sell like your makeup on then to this website and then obviously if you're like me then you can buy that makeup for so so much cheaper than you know you would if you were buying it brand new from the company. What I do is I've uh, signed myself up to their mailing list so they're constantly having like huge sales and sending out discount codes and stuff so then as well as the already discount that you get because you're buying from Glambot instead of directly from the brand then you get is, is someone looking at me. <laughs> Um, okay, 
So, um, I think what I was saying is that what I do is I sign up to their mailing list because they send out like loads and loads of codes so you get makeup even cheaper then because like not only are you getting the discount that you get, you know, from Bank and Glam Bot, but then sometimes they have like, you know, 15% discount codes or 20% discount codes or like, you know, $20 off your order and all that so you can get a lot of money off really, really nice makeup. Like I can't remember how much that order came to but I know it's a hell of a lot less than if I had went around and bought each of those things individually, you know, from the original place. Especially the bloody Kat Von D lipstick. So yeah, like seriously, Glambot is just amazing. It's like one of my favorite websites ever right now. It's also a really great way to get like limited edition makeup and stuff, you know, stuff that's like not being sold anymore because sometimes that shows up. The only thing is you have to be fast because obviously everyone wants that stuff. So if you see it, you gotta snag it. But um, yeah, sometimes things will come up that like just aren't being sold anymore. It's like, you know, chance of a lifetime to snag some really amazing limited edition makeup. So overall, I just love it, you know, like, I just, I do. <laughs> it's like my spooky box club of makeup. So yeah, remember to check out Glambot for really great makeup and also if you have any makeup to sell, remember to go on and go to their little sell tag. I think if you just go glambot.com slash sell, it'll let you do it there. So if you have anything that you want to get rid of, then you can try it through that. And um, yeah, I'll have a discount code running for new users. So if you've never bought from Glambot before, for the next 72 hours, I have a discount code for you. Or sorry, not a discount code, a link. So I'll have my link to Glambot in the description box below and if you go through that link then you'll get that uh, a 30% discount off your whole order at Glambot so that's pretty darn amazing so that's for the next 72 hours only so try to be speedy um, I'll put the expiration date in case you're watching this video like late in the description box along with the link and um, yeah so thank you so much for watching sorry it took me so long to get through because people kept getting in my way <laughs> and um, yeah I'll see you guys next time I love you lots and lots and lots and bye let me know when you're done and we'll go get nachos. Okay.